guys i had to pull over i just can't uh waste this view and i also needed to eat this burger
so I've gotten off of 70 and I'm in on, on route 50 again all by itself and I'm heading towards Delta and Montrose and boy that sun is still beating down pretty good this morning but it's only 7.30 a.m. so to San Juan uh, Route 50 was not too uh, lonely a lot of traffic I mean it wasn't worse than the world but uh, then part of uh, 50 was closed so I had to take a little detour through the country roads and uh, pretty interesting now we're going up a pretty decent sized mountain and very pretty out here in colorful Colorado. Set out on the open road, same old place you always used to go. When you were young. Speeding through a 50 song like your dad before, you didn't even notice. An old man with silver hair sitting in his rocking chair. Soon you'll be there. Although it's easy to remember. It's easy to forget But it leaves you feeling down And filled with some regrets All this trick of the memory We call them good old days All the sweet in the moment It's poison for you Nice little area for a little picnic or it, it, probably fishing, but I don't know if the water is always that uh, that high. It looked pretty. It, it may be up. So, but nice little picnic area and walk and everything. So, pretty cool. traffic stop they're doing construction on 50 so I'm probably going to have to end my route 50 trip because there's been a lot of construction on route 50 and 
Um, of course, there's construction all over this country right now. So, anyway. We will see. I've earned out like a wandering ember I shone bright and my journey was over What I sought when I ran Was back where I began no matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Leave open the gate, don't turn off the light, I'm coming home. I gained all that I knew for a price In the end, what I found Was nowhere near as nice No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming home I'm coming home Leave open the gate Don't turn off the light guys so i have decided uh 50 is just gonna be too much i'm worn out i've been driving so much and then all the construction and stuff like that uh it may get better but i'm gonna head on down to amarillo texas just saw a pretty cool site here in Gunnison it was called Gunnison Liquor Stores so Gunnison Liquors I'm going to check this place out let's check out Gunnison Liquors see what they got in here Alright, that's pretty good. Oh my goodness, look at here. Limited release. Maker's Mark. Really? That's pretty interesting. Some strain hands. Middleton Rye 1910. Hmm. That looks pretty interesting. Oh, the, the, oh, this the yeah. dark ride is actually really good. It That's is. Really, really good. Uh, I was in Las Vegas, and uh, they uh, you're on camera now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was in Las Vegas, and the bartender at the Luxor, at the Centra Bar, I think it was, and he, had, he said, here, try this dark ride, because I was trying old fashions. Okay. And I was like, man, that's actually really good. God, I wasn't a big Basil Hayden fan, but that was good. And then he said, let me put this in Old Fashioned. He put that, that's the best Old Fashioned. Oh, oh my good. gosh, it was really yeah. good like that. Nice. So I picked up that. That's a really good price. Right. Well, <laughs> You've got great prices in here. Well, I appreciate so that. So I'm going to get this Pendleton Rye. 
My kids, if they see the video, is going to be mad because I didn't get that Suntory. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, well, let me put this in the car and then I'll talk to you about what I picked up. So, I got this uh, Pendleton Rye, aged 10 years. She said that's a really good seller for her and she liked it, so I'm, I picked that up. And then... I picked up this, oops, Maker's Mark, it's a 2023 limited release, and it says it has an expression with prominent wood sugars bringing forth strong notes of vanilla, caramel, and sweet spice. It's 110 proof, so it has... 10 virgin toasted American oak stay. So that's going to be pretty interesting to try. The lady in the store was wonderful. Great meeting her. And uh, just great place. And uh, I told her about my experience of the getting busted at the place saying, don't record in there. So she's like, oh no, no problem at all. And uh, so that's always nice. Gunnison's Liquor. Great stop. A big burger the 50 burger and some fries these fries they give you a huge bag of fries and uh, I love these little thin fries and they're crunchy and crispy oh my god Wow that's really good oh huh, really good fries awesome and try this burger in just a minute okay guys uh, great looking burger here the 
Let's see if I can go this way and get some more light. I don't know. But that is a great, great looking burger. Wow. Don't try this at home. And don't try it in your car. That is great. Really good. Uh, the beef is wonderful. It's not going to top the onion burger. Guys, I had to pull over. I just can't uh, waste this view. And I also need to eat this burger. Well, look at this. Great burger and... <laughs> This area of Colorado is actually very beautiful. I'm gonna finish this burger. I have this. I also have this chocolate milkshake. It's thick. Wow. That's good. That's very good. If you're ever in Salida, Colorado, Salida Rada, they call it, Salida Rada, then you just come on down to 50 Burger. They have beer. They have mixed drinks. They make milkshakes. They got burgers. They had a nice menu of all kind of stuff. So, uh, I figured it's just gonna be a quick stop, look like a cool place, but it's really good food, really good. So, 50, and it fits the theme of the drive, Route 50. I finished that absolutely great burger, and uh, now I'm just got my french fries and my milkshake to finish but I'm heading up towards a traffic jam so um, they're doing construction all around 50 so it's making it difficult and that's why I'm getting off I'm gonna end this uh, and head to Amarillo because it's just 50 is wonderful beautiful but I don't like stopping all the time and always wear your seatbelt always so anyway um, so I got about 16 miles before I turn off and head southeast towards Amarillo uh, and in the meantime, I'll have one more major traffic stop, and I'm not happy about that. I hate traffic stops. I'm trying to let go of this heartache. It's been following me around. It wakes me up.
so we're stopped. I guess if you're going to be stopped, at least it's a decent looking area you can look around at. See the river. Without, without her, I'm in the dark. When I make my way, I stumble and I fall. I'm a blind man without his cane. I'm the ocean without the waves. The radios playing songs, telling me that I should try to move. Bighorn sheep standing right by the road. <clears throat> I doubt the camera picked it up, but that was pretty cool to see. How to live without, without her. Take the next right onto County Road 1A. Oops. I just missed my turn. I'm going to... Sadly... Excuse me, I'm watching traffic. I'm going to sadly uh, end this beautiful drive on Route 50. Look at this. And head towards Amarillo. But I will do this. I was thinking about maybe actually starting in West Virginia and going west and uh, this is a nice little road right here heading down towards Amarillo I've got five and a half hours to go to get to Amarillo but I'm excited about this little road because it's just the back road and uh, I love taking back roads pretty cool 50 is kind of a back road too but this is even more back roadish than Route 50, of course. I'm keeping my eye out for bighorn sheep and, of course, Bigfoot. This looks like some awful, squatchy territory. 